Hello students and welcome to part 2 video of the chapter A Busy Month. In the last video, we talked about birds and their nests in detail. In this video, we will be talking about birds and their feet. Birds have different kinds of feet and they use it for a range of activities from movement like walking, climbing up a tree, swimming, to activities related to food like catching and killing prey, scratching ground and so on. Let us look at examples of few birds and see how they use their feet. Now over here we have taken examples of two birds, a duck and a goose. Birds like ducks and geese have webbed feet that helps them move easily through water. So we learn that the webbed feet are not by an accident but for a reason and that is to easily swim or paddle in water. Now let us talk about eagles and vultures. These birds are also called as birds of prey. They have sharp claws to catch and tear their prey. And what do I mean by prey? By prey I mean the small animals which these birds hunt for food. So it could be a rat or a squirrel or any small animal. And this is how these birds use their feet. Birds that fly and sit on trees have feet that helps them to perch, which means that their feet helps them to rest or sit on something, especially on the branches of tree. Few examples of such birds are sparrows and crows. Birds like woodpeckers and coppersmith barbets use their feet to climb up a tree. Their two toes are pointed forward and two toes are pointed backwards. This toe arrangement supports its climb up and down the bark of a tree. Birds like crane and heron have long legs that enables them to wade through shallow water without getting their bodies wet and their feet have long toes to support them as they stand in mud or sand. Birds like hen and quail use their feet for scratching the ground for worms and insects. Then there are flightless birds like ostriches and emus that have strong feet to defend themselves. And what does defending means? Well, it means to protect themselves. Students, some of you must be aware that ostriches and emus are great runners, which in a way helps them to protect themselves. Also, the kick of these birds is said to be powerful and they use it when attacked. So students, with the help of all these examples, we can conclude that the feet of different birds are different for a reason. And this reason is its use or function. So with this, we come to an end of part 2 video. Thank you so much for joining in and hope to see you all in part 3 of this chapter. Bye-bye.